previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who need them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Where am I? What's going on? What is all this? What's that awful smell? Are you okay? I... I have no idea. Who are you? Jesse! Jesse! Where are you? Say something, Jesse! We're coming! No way! No way! You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! <laughs> Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch. I'd be condemning them to death! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger. You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there! Jesse! They're falling behind! Actually, you gotta move faster! She's too sick! This is the best we can do! They're not gonna be able to outrun it! Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster! We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam! We need transportation. Anyone seen a minecart? I think Axel still has one from the nether. But it won't help. We need to lay down too much track. Then we'll have to use the next best thing. Everybody, get on! Hang on. I've got Petra! Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I looked. Everyone, follow me! This is Jesse, the worst look ride out. of my life! Axel, stop backseat steering! I can't help it. I'm getting horse sick. It's Gabe! 
waiting on us! No offense, but you can use a little practice. First time on a horse here! Watch it! Are you trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. freaking made it! Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I, I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you! Oh, I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you! <sighs> Who are you people? It's me, Eligard. Come on. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. He doesn't recognize me either. Well, he only just met you. But for him to forget us? <sighs> you, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please. What is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. And then we were galloping. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive, which is more than I can say for some of us. Magnus, for a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone. All I know is he'd want us to keep fighting no matter what. And for us to keep blowing the crap out of stuff. <laughs> You're right. He would. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one Witherstorm to three. Our plan was a total failure. 
I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? Well, plan A didn't work. So the question is, what's plan B? Well, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! It's just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... If they were just trapped in the Wither Storm... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. So. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you, I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far, but I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas, look. You and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. <laughs> hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Terrible, Petra. Your skin is, like, almost gray. Hey, way to not sugarcoat it. I feel even worse than I look. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, uh, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If i just taken a second to think about it, that all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't your fault, it's Ivor's. Who wouldn't do something stupid for a diamond? But without my help, Ivor wouldn't have- Wouldn't have wanted revenge on Gabriel? Believe me, he would have found another way. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can- Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No, no way. I'm not a quitter. We're not saying you are. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Not gonna lie, but we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. 
One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Eligard. Ellie to you. Eligard, hmm? And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. You guys defeated the Ender Dragon together, the most fearsome creature this land has ever seen. Really? It really? You're kind of a big deal. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past, something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. I don't know what would even help. Tell him more about the Order. Who you guys were, how you got together, anything. Well, we came together because we loved adventure. And we split apart because... It doesn't matter now. But in between, we did some amazing things together. Amazing, I tell you. We used to think we were invincible. And perhaps we were. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. But I want to express my gratitude. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this Order of the Stone. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. <laughs> Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Reuben! Understand? Yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. Soren, I did that. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Would you both stop arguing, please? Oh, no, this isn't an argument. It's me trying to make Ivor leave us alone. I told you, I wouldn't have followed you here without good reason. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. And the reason you didn't tell us that ages ago? Gabriel was gone. I didn't think it mattered. Right, except Gabriel gave the amulet to me. What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well... Except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Withers' gaze passed over them, and they went wild. 
If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not from mere mortals. The Witherstorms are already chasing us. If we just get them to chase us to your fortress again... Yes! Yes, that's it! They'll be caught between a rock and a hard place! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, for just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. And I'm inclined to agree. What kind of failsafe exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon. And you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. So what do we do? Guys, I have a plan. We're going to Ivor's secret laboratory to try to craft a... Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. Hello, my name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. But you could be killed. We all could, Olivia. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three Witherstorms chasing you wherever you go. And if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him. Never thought I'd be saying this, but Ivor, lead the way. Hey, Jesse, let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The redstone wrap? You got it. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first.
Are we there yet? Almost there. Close! 